After weeks of anticipation, the RSI Mantis is finally in our hands. Well, some of our hands. Evocati members have access to the RSI Mantis as of patch 3.7M on the PTU. It's likely coming to more people by this evening, I would imagine. Fortunately, I'm one of those Evocati members, and I got a chance to see what this ship can do on my live stream this morning. Now, before we get into that, let's just do a quick overview of the exterior and the interior of the ship. The exterior gives me very Star Trek vibes, the, the tall nacelles, and it, maybe even the kind of coloring of the ship as well. It just really makes me feel Star Trek. Let me know what you guys think. Moving on to the interior, it's actually quite underwhelming to me personally, as it's just one large room, which is reminiscent of a lot of the tiny houses that I've been watching on YouTube lately. The ship comes equipped with one bed for logouts, a toilet for obvious reasons, and even a little coffee machine that is not currently functional in the back left for those times where you're not really catching any fish. The cockpit is probably the most important area and the largest change to the RSI style. The flight seat is very reminiscent of the Constellation with its four MFDs attached to the seat, but they do happen to be more transparent. And they also happen to be sporting the new HUD as well. But probably the biggest change to the RSI lineup coming with this ship is the cockpit glass. It is basically strutless. Now, personally, I would have liked to see more of an Aurora-style cockpit. I just happen to love that style, regardless of the struts. But this is a very nice look, especially the transparent panels and the strutless cockpit really gives you a nice view of the space around you. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's see what this ship can do. There are two ways to turn on your quantum device, either on your right and left side panels of your cockpit seat, or you can turn it on inside the power menu of one of the MFDs. This is a little finicky though. The left side of the cockpit seat is the quantum snare device. The right side is the quantum dampening device. We're gonna start out with the quantum snare. Once you turn on the QED, you have to start charging up your snare. You do this by using F for the interaction key and then clicking the tooltip to charge the snare. A HUD indicator will pop up to let you know when your charge is ready. Once it's ready, you'll use right click on your mouse or your secondary fire button to fire the quantum charge. This basically throws out a net and anyone within 20,000 kilometers of that net will be interdicted to you. This is quite hard to do and it took a few tries, but basically once I stayed about 10,000 meters away from Port Olisar, I interdicted every single person quantum traveling from it. So if you want to effectively use this ship, you are going to have to test your net near places that people are leaving, not necessarily where places that people are going to, because you will be in orbit of the place that people are going to, and the destination that they quantum travel to will be different than the destination that you are standing. But if they are leaving from the same area that you are around, you will almost definitely catch them in your net. Quantum dampening is much easier. You go to the right side panel, turn on your QED, and keep anyone within 2,000 meters of you, and they will get the same icon that we do in the game where a quantum jamming ship from an NPC would give. Both of these crowd control devices can be interrupted, either by an EMP or by dropping your shields down. Like CIG said, it takes quite a bit of power to keep those things up. So if power is diverted to your shields or anything like your engines, you will run out of power and the devices will no longer be running and the cooldowns will start. And the cooldowns take about a minute. So it's quite a bit of time in between. So if you prevent this ship from doing any sort of crowd control, it's not a very good fighter and does not have a lot of defenses, so it is quite easy to take out. And that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Just wanted to do a quick update on the ship and show you a little bit of it. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button or hit subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, everybody.